Hey guys, today we're doing a quick video on narcissistic personality, kind of identifying some of the main features of the disorder, some of the co-occurring disorders that can go with it, a couple of them. Um, this is just a little bit of information, guys, so you can better understand narcissistic personality. Um, I tend to tr tread lightly with the subject because most of the time these are, you know, damaged individuals, people that were abused as children neglected as children. So as an adult, you know, as a, ch as a child, they couldn't, they couldn't rely on the adults in their life to meet their needs. And so that's why they become such controlling people of their environments and, you know, who can be around them, things like that. Because when they were younger, you know, trust versus mistrust, they got mistrust. So they started mistrusting everybody around them and, and they feel like they have to get you before you get them. So they're going to be very proactive, you know, with certain issues. You know, Dr. Phil says they're going to get you before they before you can get them. So that's where like the smear campaigns come in, things like that, because they try to destroy your reputation, things like that. Um, but one of the main symptoms is an overflate, overinflated self of sense of self or, you know, high, high self-esteem. Um, I think, I think part of it is, you know, people that have had these damaged lives. I think the overinflated self sense of self-esteem is, I think part of it is them being their own best friend. Just my guess. Um, because when they were younger, they had, they had issues with people not loving them. They had issues with people neglecting them as children, things like that. So they had to learn to be their own best friend and blow smoke up their own ass because maybe when they were kids, they never got compliments. They never got told they did a good job. So as an adult, they developed this overinflated self sense of self in order to combat against that child abuse, uh, combat against that wounded spirit, right? Um, having an overinflated sense of self sense of self isn't necessarily a bad thing. I think having a high self esteem is a good thing. Um, but according to research, most people that have narcissistic personality actually have a low self esteem. They kind of they kind of present as a high self esteem, but inwardly they they will often admit they have a low self esteem. Um, so it, overinflated sense of self that's going to be one of the main criteria. Um, an excessive need for admiration. Um, so these are the people that are going to be fishing for compliments and stuff. Maybe you could be a good friend and just give them a compliment, right? Um, because these are wounded individuals, wounded souls, you know, physically abused children, you know, neglected children, um, chaotic family upbringings. And so that's where like a lot of the selfishness comes into play is they had to literally you know, they, they, they adopted, the, adopted the sense that they couldn't trust other people. So they had to be their own best friends and, you know, build themselves up and kind of block everybody else out of their life. Um, sense of entitlement. That's going to be another one. Um, people with narcissistic personality, they present as being very entitled, you know, entitled to your money, entitled to your home, entitled to your apartment, entitled to rides. Um, almost expecting you to just do these things for them, expecting you to loan them money, expecting you to give them rides. But if the shoe was on the other foot, most often they wouldn't, you know, return the favor. You know, if, if your narcissistic friend called you, they were broken down, you being the empath, you would probably go help that person because you know what it's like to be broken down the side of the road. But if the situation was reversed, more than likely because of that lack of empathy they have, they wouldn't help you. Um, sense of entitlement. Like I said, entitled to money, rides, um, home situation, you know, they think they're entitled to just stay on, you know, stay at your apartment, you know, just because it's them. Very entitled behaviors. Um, superficial relationships. These are often the people that have tons of friends, but no solid friends. So like they might have 50 people they talk to, but do they actually have any solid relationships, people that stay in their life? Um, oftentimes narcissistic individuals actually push people away because they feel safer alone. Um, again, it's, I think it's that child abuse, that chaotic upbringing where they, they, they figured they can't trust other people. Um, maybe other people scared them growing up. So they start isolating, they start pushing people away. Um, so superficial relationships, that's going to be a big one. Um, Takes advantage of others for personal gain. That can be take take advantage of your money, take advantage of your housing, take advantage of rides, things like that. 
Um, narcissistic individuals have a severe lack of empathy. So things that you normally would be apath- empathetic about, like let's say your friend called you and said their mom just died. You would be like, wow, man, that's horrible. Like, do you want to hang out so we can like process this and I can be there for you? You know, you being the empath, you might want to be there for your friend with a, with a death in the family, you know? Um, but with them, if the situation was reversed because of their lack of empathy, they probably wouldn't even call you if that happened because they have such a hard rec- time recognizing your feelings, you know, um, and they have a hard time emotionally responding to those feelings. You know, they may be able to identify you're having a bad day, but they can't emotionally kind of like feel that same, that same pain that you're feeling. Um, so they can identify it. They just can't, you know empathize with you and give you that empathy that you need. Um, so lack of empathy is going to be a big one, guys. Um, cannot recognize your needs. Um, narcissistic partners can be hard to date, guys, because a lot of times they just dis- completely disregard your needs, you know, whether it be your sexual needs or, you know, your needs for hanging out, you know, they'll they'll completely disregard that. Everything has to be on their terms. Um, they don't like change, fear relationships, pushing people away, avoidant personalities, um, blames others for everything. That's a huge one, guys. Narcissistic individuals literally blame all their problems on other people. So if you've dated someone that narcissistic, guarantee they blame you for the relationship going bad. Um, smear campaigns are a huge one, guys. You have a breakup with a narcissistic individual, they're going to be the one doing the smear campaign, calling your friends on purpose to ruin your friendships in order to isolate you, in order to punish you for not doing what they wanted. They're going to ruin your friendships. They may even call your family and run your name into the ground um, just to make you feel bad and make you feel emotionally abused. They can be very abusive when they're upset. Um. So blaming others for everything, that's a huge one. Fault finding, um, fault finding and rude comments. You know, you may start dating a narcissistic woman. You've only been with her for a couple days and she may start nitpicking at you. You know, why do you say that to me? Why do you say this to me? I don't like it when people say this to me. That's all fault finding and devaluement. Um, Financial exploitation is a huge one. Narcissistic individuals love to financially take advantage of people for their own personal gain. But if the shoe was on the other foot, they may not help you because of that lack of empathy. Um, Looks for compliments, you know, that low self-esteem, sense of entitlement. Um, People with narcissistic personality are prone to substance abuse problems. So alcoholism, drug use, Um, some co-occurring disorders that can co-occur with MPD are like borderline personality. You could be BPD and narcissistic at the same time. Um, histrionic personality disorder, which you're going to want to Google that can be co-occurring with MPD, um, paranoid, paranoid related illnesses can be, can be co-occurring with, with narcissism, um, anorexia, substance use disorders. Um, they say cocaine is a big one with narcissists. Apparently narcissists like cocaine because they're linked to cocaine use disorders. Um, one big one guys, one big co-occurring disorder is going to be that antisocial personality disorder. Again, a major lack of empathy with people with antisocial personality disorder. When an antisocial person walks in the room, they don't even see you. They're thinking to themselves, what's in this for me? So the antisocial personality is something you can look up on YouTube, learn about antisocial personality disorder. It's going to be a big, big time co-occurring disorder with narcissists going to co-occur often. Um, People that are narcissistic, they have a real hard time with friendships and keeping friends. Um, they just have a, they have a hard time, you know, keeping friends because they do actually have a major lack of empathy and that major lack of empathy can ruin friendships. You know, they ghost you for two weeks. They ghost you for, I've I've been ghosted by narcissists up past two years, guys. People that say they care about me, narcissistic friends that say they care about me, literally ghost me longer than two years. Um, you may start dating somebody with narcissistic. They may just ghost you out of the blue. You haven't heard from them for a couple of weeks. That's a big sign of a narcissist. Um, people that are narcissistic have a major preoccupation with success. So I think of that as a good thing. I don't think of that as being a negative thing. Um, but 
guys, that's that's basically going to do it um, for today. Um, one last thing I'd like to talk about is the devaluing behaviors. Um, they devalue their partner, their boyfriend, their girlfriend. They devalue often. You know, a lot of times these narcissistic relationships, they start out with a love bomb. So they're going to come in. Everything you like, they're going to like. So mirroring you, you like to fish, they're going to like to fish. Um, but as soon as they have you trapped in that narcissistic web, they start devaluing you. They start putting you down. They start insulting you. Um, people that are narcissistic can be very arrogant. They hate criticism, you know, um, but that severe lack of empathy is going to be the main reason why they can't keep friends, why they can't keep, keep a boyfriend, a girlfriend, because they have a major, major, major lack of empathy. And that can cause a lot of issues, guys. That can cause a lot of issues. Um, so again, we'll just quickly talk about the co-occurring disorders, BPD, histrionic, paranoid, you know, personality disorders, anorexia, substance abuse disorder, cocaine use disorders, um, with a major one being that difficulty relationships. These people, they have a hard time keeping friends. They have a hard time keeping a, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, because they'll do stupid shit, like ghost you for two weeks. You may not hear from them. Things that actually destroy relationships, that destroy romance. Um, but they've, they've linked, uh, genetics to narcissism. So if you had a parent that was narcissistic, you're more likely to be narcissistic yourself. Um, or if you had an upbringing that included child abuse, you're at high risk for being narcissistic. Cause again, as a child, you learned you couldn't trust nobody. So now as an adult, it's fuck everybody. And I'm looking out for myself. Um, if you like this video guys, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers and a lot of watch time hours so I can start making a little bit of money off this channel would be nice so I can start getting paid for my ads. That's a goal that I have. Um, so I'm moving up to 1,000 subscribers. If you guys can subscribe, that'd be awesome. Um, if you guys like mental health videos like this, um, like the video, subscribe, share it with a friend. Um, I don't hate anybody, guys. I don't hate narcissistic individuals. I don't hate BPD girls. Um, People get real sensitive on my channel. Viewers get sensitive. And, and these videos are not meant to shit on anybody. They are not meant to disrespect anybody. Um, I just had a rough ride, a rough ride, guys, with narcissistic individuals, narcissistic girlfriends that literally took baseball bats to my heart, things like that, guys. So you might see a little frustration from me on these illnesses like BPD, narcissism. But I don't hate any of y'all that have these illnesses. I wish nothing but success for you and happiness in your life. Um, I went to college for mental health, so it's just something I'm interested in. And I'm interested in learning about myself, you know. Um, am I perfect? No, I am the farthest from perfect there is, guys. So I'm not up here pretending to be a perfect person. I have issues just like any Joe, Tom, Dick, or Harry out there. But if you like uh, these videos, please subscribe, like this video, share it with a friend. Till next time, guys, hope you have an awesome, awesome day. Catch you later, guys. Bye.